This project is made by the student to Sam Salman from the group 1251 he fills Polite Anika for the subject head cam and it talks about PCB crosstalk. PCB crosstalk. When there are several conductors near each other, the signal on one gets onto the others. This is due to capacitive and magnetic coupling. This is used intentionally in microwave couplers. On telephone cables and unrelated traces on printed circuit boards it is not desired. The term crosstalk comes from many decades ago. Telephone wires from the central office to subscribers were bundled into cables. The telephone conversations talk on one set of wires was coupled cross to the other wires. Thus this coupling was called crosstalk. Crosstalk is the transfer of energy between adjacent circuit conductors via capacitive and inductive coupling. The energy from the source conductor becomes superimposed on the receptor circuit's conductor, leading potentially to malfunction of the logic being driven. So, crosstalk is the bleeding of signals carried by one pair onto another pair through the electrical process of induction. Wires need not make contact, signals transferred magnetically. This is an unwanted effect that can cause slow transfer or completely inhibit the transfer of data signals over the cable segment. The purpose of the wire twists is to significantly reduce the crosstalk and its effects. The coupling due to capacitive effects, electric field energy, causes a small reproduction of the active signal to be sent to both the far and near ends of the receptor line. The capacitively coupled pulses are the same polarity as the signal in the source line. The inductive coupling, magnetic field energy, causes a signal of the same polarity as the source signal to be coupled to the near end of the receptor, and a signal of the opposite polarity as the source signal to be coupled to the far end of the receptor, since the capacitively coupled energy, at the near end of the receptor, is the same polarity as the inductive energy, the two pulses add together. Hence the backward crow's stock is much larger per unit length of coupling than the forward crow's stock, which consists of the difference between the inductive and capacitive energy. Signals routed over one another on adjacent layers tend to cause much greater crow's stock than signals routed side by side on the same layer. Reduction of crosstalk on printed circuit board using genetic algorithm in switching power supply. Crow's stock between printed circuit board PCB traces in switching power supplies may cause high electromagnetic interference emission. PCB layout plays an important part in a genetic algorithm. Georgia is used to produce a layout with reduced crow's stock. The GA is used to optimize layout of a victim trace with respect to the emission map from Loy's trace. A trace is divided in two segments joined up by turning points. Each turning point is called a G, which is represented by two binary numbers. A PCB trace is made up of a collection of genes called a chromosome, which represents a trace layout.